Kay's back. Yes, I'm so excited. Never been so excited. I feel like I just bought this car. It's been so long since we brought the EK home because we haven't had room. I'm finally freeing up some space. I got a couple more parking stalls. I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing back in the warehouse because it hasn't sold yet. Maybe because it is a 99 and it's not eligible for import for another half a year or something. So this is gonna sit in. You guys can still hit me up about this thing. It is for sale on asap.co.jp, but today is the day. We are bringing the EK home. I forgot how minty this thing was. It's been a couple months at least. You guys know me. I was totally in the Honda boy phase. <laughs> I was deep in it for a second. And once I dropped it off, I kind of forgot how much I loved this thing and how much I missed it. Leah's really been pushing me to go pick it up at the warehouse. So today's that day. I'm gonna bring it home to her. I know she misses this car. We gotta do some mountain runs. Now we gotta see if this thing starts. If this thing starts right now, it's gonna be insane it's got to be dead yeah it's for sure dead <laughs> luckily i got my jumper pack hey look at this thing oh it's so good all right lights are on that's a good sign all right all right let's swap these guys out Leah just pulled up. I'm gonna show her the car now. You didn't really look at the car much after we flipped time. Have you yeah. looked at it up close? No. Do you want to see we it? Were, so we were scrambling and we were in like shock, but I didn't even want to look at the car. That's well, I felt today's so the bad. day. You can look at it. I was inspecting it right now with Nico. Actually, I made a deal with Nico. I already found another chassis and I told Nico, if you help me swap over everything into the new chassis, I'll give him the S15 because he really wants it and he said he can fix it. So. He wants it? He wants it so bad. As is. <laughs> yeah. Well, he can fix anything. Well, I mean, look at Nico's car. S15 at least is one color. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, the biggest issue is the roof, but Nico thinks he can just put something in there and bang it up, get a new windshield, and just bond over it and make it work. Obviously, the hood is trashed. The hood doesn't even shut, but you can still open it. As you can see, valve cover hit the hood. And the engine is a little bit tilted now for some reason. The car doesn't want to go in gear. It's pouring smoke because all the fluids are probably mixed up. The biggest issue here is the core support is so pushed yeah, down. down. You can see it's yeah. just like pancaked, so yeah. right? This used to be level with the radiator. But what happened was when it flipped, as you can see, the fender is still in place, right? The fender didn't come off. It's still bolted down. The hood hinges are perfect. They're not bent, but when you close the hood, look at this fat gap now. So the car basically got squashed and widened out like a pancake. So if you look into here, the chassis is starting to split here. So basically this got pushed down and pushed out, causing everything to be misaligned. The door has a fat gap now. So even if you put a new door, I'm sure the hinges probably won't line up correctly. That's, That's one thing I was here. really bummed about. I saw this today. Wait, how did this happen? When we flipped. So the A-pillar normally gets crushed to like down here. Oh my gosh, what is this? It's the film, oh. protective film so it doesn't shatter on us. That's why, so that's why it didn't, it didn't shatter. Yeah, I was like waiting for the glass yeah. to like shatter off inside to it. Oh, well, it kind of did still. So Nico thinks he can bang this out and then put a new windshield and call it a day. New hood. But you see here, babe? This line is still very nice. This whole side just got squashed and pushed out. Obviously the alignment's all off. And when we flip the car back over, I'm pretty sure we bent some suspension. The door is wrecked. Canada doors wrecked. Look, the door's hitting the seat so bad now. Yeah. But I told Nico, I'm keeping everything. I'm keeping the dash, I'm keeping all the carpet, the door panels, the seats, everything because this stuff is all worth a lot of money. So I'm literally just giving him the shell. I'm taking the trunk. The whole rear end is fine. I'm taking the tail lights and the fenders, the whole rear end, all the arms links, suspension, roof wing. So Nico's literally just getting the shell, but he's freaking pumped. 
he's already calling it his car. I'm like, dude, let me find another car first. <laughs> there is a ton of glass everywhere. So it did kind of shatter in here. Headliner, so pushed down. But yeah, he started the car. Now it won't go into gear for some reason. So we're trying to figure that out. We think okay. something is twisted. There's probably coolant in the motor, oil mixed up everywhere. Obviously it's gonna pour some smoke. <laughs> It's okay, Nico's gonna bring it back to life. Headlights are good, those are still good. These things are brand new, sorry Coda. Suspension, something had to have been, cause this wheel's straight, this wheel's all crooked, intercooler's all bent. But yeah, for the most part, Nico thinks it's a perfect car. That's awesome. Yeah, so at least I'll be able to bring this thing back to life. Me and Leah found a car, it's in Fukuoka. You're thinking about getting it? We'll keep you posted on that. But I'm thinking I'm gonna take all this out, put it onto her car, give her a proper drift car, and I'm finally gonna build a nice, powerful drift car. Finally. I don't know if I'm gonna do it like right now. <laughs> I gotta sell some stuff. But hey, at least it's not the EK, right? <laughs> This thing is so good. I miss this thing so much. Oh, I love it. That's the best car. And we got the matching kids for Caro's in the back. Anyways, that's the update. Kind of sad looking at it, huh? Is yeah. it not as bad as you thought? No, it's pretty bad, but I can understand how Nico thinks it's fixable. I think yeah. it's fixable too. Honestly, I would fix it, but I like my stuff perfect. And that being said, I need a new chassis. Now you get a new chassis. Anyways, we'll keep you updated on that. Right now we're just doing maintenance on a customer car that I sourced out. Nice S15 spec car. We do offer that service with ASAP. All the maintenance for the customers who purchase cars. This thing, because they're already jamming on it. This is super clean spec car, fully kitted. It's getting the works right now. Oil diff, trans fluid, spark plugs, coolant, brake fluid flush, clutch fluid flush. This thing is pretty good. It's got the D package interior, which is the blue. Door panel, seat, this. This is not cheap nowadays. One C is worth like 700 bucks. These door panels are like 500 bucks. Good car though. Anyways, we can find you guys the car of your dreams. So hit us up ASAP. We do car searches. We sell obviously our own inventory. Right now we only have that 34 and ARC 7, but we can source literally anything. Hit us up there. We can get you your dream car, boys. I gotta get some food. My parents are in town. We'll keep you guys updated. Food break, check this out. See if I can do this while holding the camera. It's okay. You got a little skillet. I don't think this is good at all, but it sounds good. Dad's chefing it up over there. Just singe your tongue. <laughs> I think I cooked mine too much. Timmy Lays? Just cut it. Very good, man. It's the best $15 plate you can buy. Like Santa Claus. Look at the steak. They leave it a little bit raw for you. Place these, right? Huh? Yeah. When it gets cold, they replace it. Yeah. Sometimes they cook it's it. It's a fat piece. Once your sizzle goes out, they brought me a brand new one. Good morning, Nico. Good morning, guys. Today. Special day. It's always a special day. I dragged Nico with me because the original plan was to go to Kodos and get the new car that I'm gonna be picking up today. But I realized I can't leave a car at Kodos when I pick up the new car. So the train ride is like three hours to Kodos. So I dragged Nico out. He's gonna be coming with me to help me pick up the new car. But you guys will see that in a bit. Right now we're in the, on the street dropping off to a customer. Gonna do that for switch cars and then show you guys the new car. I didn't tell Nico what it is. Can you guess? R34 GT. R34 You guys will find out in a bit. A mini run, 7 Eleven eggs. Egg, onion, green onion, and aromatic vegetable sauce. Nice, Nico. <laughs> Oodle. $3.50 for a freaking breakfast. I got you though. $3.50 about. Gotta love Japan's 7-Eleven. Look at all this here. Look at these chips. What is this? What flavor is this? Like Wagyu steak flavor with truffle or something? Crab chips. These are fire. They have drumsticks, like KFC style drumsticks. Dude, we just got way too much food. What are we doing? <laughs> and you gotta only eat. Oh my gosh. What else did I get? Oh, 
We got spring rolls. Haremaki, so fire. Itadakimasu. Doza. All right, we gotta eat. Hold on, I gotta show you guys this. So this is how they separate the meat from the rice. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, that looks good too. This looks like straight up restaurant food. You know they don't have this back home at 7-Eleven? Nico's never been to America. You no. would be so let down if you went to 7-Eleven. <laughs> you get some like three day old hot dog. Tastes like <laughs> a rubber, rubber stick. Look at that. Oh yeah. Look at that egg. It looks freaking fake. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Excuse me, can I eat? You can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. We have arrived. The street. Look at this, it's wild how many K vans and trucks. There's three over there, two here, four right here. So many. What the? Oh, there's more. Another one? Hi, Jet. What is that? What? This is their buddy's yard. He exports to Hawaii. So if you see K trucks and K bins in Hawaii, you probably came from here. We finally made it. Oh, let's get it. So Koda got a new car. It looks fairly new. Where's Koda? Kota. Something happened there. Let's see, Vinny. We apparently got into an accident. Look at radiator, where the radiator is. Oh, that was no. supposed to be like right here. Oh no. It pulled and went in and look, this tension of bracket and frame separated. Oh, no. But the crash is on the other side? When did his door get so dented? You know, it's bad when you gotta put a small wheel on. That's definitely not centered. Meet that, Nico. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's completely pushed back. What did he hit, a curb? Yeah, not so long. Like understeer, it's full of It doesn't so look like, that bad on camera, but it is bad, huh? I don't think we can pull there or anything. We can fix anything, no. dude. That's like a Kakumon work. Well, engine's still good. This lasted good. Two See, events? I told you. What? That's why I don't put any time into paint. Because the just car lasted them. like three yeah. times. <laughs> Thousand dollar paint job. <laughs> oh, this is the one that I was supposed to buy. Sorry. I could have sold it instead. That's okay. So, this one, it's not that exciting. <laughs> it's just a spec S. Nothing special. But it's actually really good condition and a really good price. You're the man. Koda just wants to drift again together. So he's like, dude, just take my, this is your old spare shell, yeah? This is my spare shell. You've had this for, like, I look back at my videos. When I first moved to Japan, there's a video on this thing in here. Yeah, I picked you up. Yeah, at yeah. the station. Yep, in this car, this is the car. And it's kind of just been sitting. The paint got kind of bad over time, but it's good. Your headlights survived, yeah? Headlights are good. One door is good. This yeah. has a mirror. Thanks, Koda. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying new Ganadors. I feel bad cutting up the fresh body, but that's your job, Ocean. <laughs> Interior is good. Is it open? Nice. I need this part. You need that part? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need that part too. Um, and see. I'll see. give you the shifter. The shifter looks good. Yeah, it's an automatic. I forgot to mention that. Oh, let's just hope it's not rusted under there. I'm driving this thing home today. It's official. Nico's taking the new S15. I mean, the old S15. He wants to check out what I have in here. I haven't been in here in a while. Oh, rear bumper. Look, perfect. You can have that. You can keep the rear bumper. I have the front bumper at your yard. I can't give you the spec R side stuff because these things are worth so much money now. I have original front fender, but you have OMD kit, so can't put that. You need to fix the roof first. That's what you need to do. <laughs> what else do I have? I got vents. I don't have much, Nico. Oh, tension rod. Can you take these home? I might need it. Spacer, you might need this. Here. Whoa. Well, we gotta get you a full OMD kit for your new S15. Oh, Diffies. Maybe I can install these on my new one. No, we're swapping everything from the front and the rear, so I don't really need much. I'm gonna be able to use almost everything. Okay, Koda's got his own up garage here. You wanna buy parts, Nico? Come in, step in, dude. Everything's for sale. You need tire one tire You got all the steering wheels, hubs, you got mirrors. Hey, you got another set of Ganadors, Koda? How many tire 
Just two? Wing stands for GTRs for days? What the? Clutch. We got rotors. Do you need anything, Nico? I need the quads. Look at the spacers. You have enough quads. <laughs> you got hubs. Alternators. Silencers. Yo, these silencers. Let me get this one. Who's a big boy? You got an extra cluster in here? You a freaking hoarder. You got a head just sitting right here? Is that my old head? Yeah. Is this all spare parts or broken? Spare. Everything usable. You got little turbos and manifolds back there? Oh, Nico needs a manifold. I would just bought it. You bought it? Yeah. <laughs> you should have came here. Yeah. What is this? Spec guy wing. Look at all the trans. What the? Oh, you have all the arms and links. Maybe this crown kit is here. Finally, you're gonna get this thing kitted. Yes, brand new freaking hoarder. Well, luckily I found this spare for Carl and it had a seat rail for S15 and I was able to make it fit. Pretty ghetto, but just to get it home. This red seat that I've had, I've been wanting to use. Ocean fixed it for me. This was all broken, the tabs and stuff. So he re-welded it and made it all legit. If you guys want this seat, hit me up. You can DM me. At yacht. I'll sell it. Look at that. <laughs> Freaking perfect fit in the Prius. Full crown kit. You ready, buddy? The driver can't fit. Yeah, you don't need a driver. This thing drives itself. <laughs> and you still have space here. Let's oh. put something else in here. I have a box I need to put in here. My baby. The new molded, molded baby. This thing's about to get a full transformation for the second time. So the deal was Koda keeps his fresh door panels. So Koda's giving me these, but I can use mine off my old S15, so. Nico, you got new door panels. There you go, buddy. Merry Christmas. Yeah, uh, another engine, man. Yeah, dude. Oh, <laughs> but you're taking this engine too? Oh, four in it. <laughs> We're doing it right this time. We're doing it on the lift and we're dropping it from the bottom. Easy. Front end rate. We're gonna drop the subframe, yeah, coil lowers. <laughs> Done. This was okay, we but like, we have a full it lift. Like three weeks. Maybe it takes one year, but we're gonna get it done. <laughs> Thank you guys. How are you gonna oh. do it? Come out of here. Yeah, yeah. What? How are you gonna do it? finish it? Right. Yeah, we're finishing the car. Okay. One week. Happy New Year. One week is my goal. Happy, Happy New, New, Year. New Year. One to nine weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Alright boys. Now to drive this thing home. Granny spec. Oh yeah. Gonna drive so nice, automatic. Might just keep it this way. <laughs> we have arrived at Nico's with the new donor chassis. This thing's going in for a full makeover. We got the other S15 right here next to Nico's S14. Nico, you got two cars now. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, today's agenda. We are gonna hopefully drop the front subframe, take the engine out from the bottom, rear subframe, take that out. If we can get that far, I'm not too sure. We're just gonna start jamming and see how far we can get. Look who's here. All hands on deck Hold today, on. we got Kyle. He's gonna help us try and jam, mm -hmm. right? That's what we're doing. This should be fun. First things first, I do wanna gut this interior, starting with the dash. I don't wanna go through the hassle of taking all those gauges out and everything, so I wanna just put this dash inside the other car. Also, ECU is in the glove box, so we'll be able to get all the wiring out, pull it through the firewall, Engine harness, all that. It's gonna be easier. We gotta take this door off. Oh no, I dented this. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Let's just start going at it. Here's a little update. 
update of how far we got. We are taking apart, got the door off. Looking pretty trash right now. Next thing, we'll start undoing the whole engine harness, pull the ECU out, and then we can drop this motor out. Forgot you have to take out the airbag. You see those bolts? We don't have that tool. So Nico's trying to find it right now to get this out. Might have to put this on hold for now, but we got pretty far. Is it it? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Ah, Nico's determined. All right, dash is off. Car is definitely looking like more of a Nico car now. <laughs> yeah. I know it's probably not the smartest thing, but we need to move this thing, so. Nico, I have no power, bro. There's something wrong, but maybe I do. Is the ECU plugged in? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good? So, oh, it's not smoking. When we first started, it was smoking so bad. Normally when a car flips over, all that oil gets into all the chambers and everything and just, it, it wrecks everything. Everything gets mixed up, but that's a good sign. We don't have too much smoke. Plan is to just change the oil, drop everything, and let the car idle for a bit. Hopefully burn off all the excess oil. All right, now we gotta swap cars. Can you go this way? This is harder than it looks. Can you go this? Customer's S15 is all ready to go. We got full maintenance. We had to raise the car for shipping. As you can see, the car looks pretty twisted, but I think this intercooler is messing your eyes up. I don't think the actual chassis is twisted. This yeah, might be a little bit higher than that side. A little bit, yeah. But let's take the intercooler off and then we can really check. So far, so good. The only thing bent is this tie rod. Look at this thing. That's bent. Coilovers might. If they're leaking, that means I blew the seals when I dropped the car, but I think they might be okay. These are brand new. For the most part, everything looks good. I gotta make sure the knuckles, remember last time I cracked the knuckles? That much pressure dropping the car possibly could have cracked it, but the plan is take off all four subframe bolts and take off the three coilover nuts on the top and literally drop the whole rear end with the diff everything take off the drive shaft same thing with the front we're going to take off the two subframe nuts on each side drop the whole subframe with the three coilover nuts literally drop the entire motor with the subframe with all the suspension all in one same thing for the rear that is the ideal plan that's the easiest way to do it but it gets kind of complicated after that because once you take all that off, then you just have a non-rolling chassis. So the plan is to get a truck under here. Nico said they used to do trucks on this lift, surprisingly. Reverse the truck underneath the car. It's gonna be a flatbed truck. We're gonna put tires on the truck so the chassis just sits on the tires. That's gonna be interesting. I can't wait to show you guys. We'll see how far we get today. So far, so good. We're in it a couple hours. We're doing good. Almost ready to drop everything. Just gotta undo the harness. We got the drive shaft out. So we're gonna drop the car and finish the rest up top. Almost there. All right, how far we got? All freaking time lapse, the whole vlog. We got pretty far. Engine's almost ready to come out. Last couple harnesses, it's starting to get dark. 